Brought down by Finnegan. Comes inside onto Kevin Moon. Nice pass out wide onto Dave Mackay. Mackay looks up, tempting ball. Kello comes for it. It's flicked away by Webster. That's on to Liam Craig. That's clever. And that's the opening goal. Manu and Kello came a wandering and didn't get the cross from Dave Mackay. And he was very slow to get back with a lovely touch from Liam Craig and beautifully finished by the left foot. Three minutes played at Tyne Castle. A terrific touch by Liam Craig and Hearts are behind. Saints building again, Finnegan. Heber just checks his run. I'd say long on to Miller. Inside Finnegan swings out of it. Here's Marcus Heber. Good control. Good save. Well, he scored last week against Sibs. He watched his strike partner send it high in the air but brought it down well and tested Marion Kello. Hearts have got such a poor record in the first half of finding the net. Scored quickly last weekend in the second half against Inverness. They're going to do so here again. Betty Tool sends it in. Stephen Elliott rising. Well, he didn't test Peter Enkelman, but he wasn't far away. Great cross from Tool and just off target. Back at Johnson. Johnson to Zach Lucas, it's another mistake from Zach Lucas, Liam Craig. Four goals this season, including today for Liam Craig. And almost pounced here on the mistake from Zach Lucas. That's a decent hit. Hart's oh, trying to find an equaliser. David Templeton working his way into the game, that's not a great ball inside. It falls to Stephen Elliott. And Peter Enkelman is secure. Well, Saints have lost goals in only two of their eight away matches this season, and Inkerman giving Hearts at bay. Nice ball through again, Hearts getting more pressure, a much better second half performance from the Tyne Castle side. That's up by Hamill, Sutton was being held there, and the referee says penalty. David McCracken it was, and Stevie O'Reilly in perfect position to point to the spot. Well, Jamie Hamill's ball in, Sutton clearly impeded there, and referee said penalty kick. Jamie Hamill, a good success rate from the spot last season, and there's sees that one saved by Peter Enkelman. It's a good save from the goalkeeper, not a great penalty from Jamie Hamill, but it's the trailing arm that does the job here. Steve Lomas, getting his message through, relaying it to one, and then it goes to Tommy Wright on the bench. Not the most direct communication, but he'll be happy with the way his side's playing. Dave Mackay trying to get the better of Ryan McGowan. That's sent away. Clip back into Mackay. Davidson on the run, goes down. Penalty. Eggert Jonsson tripped him. Stevie O'Reilly again with a simple call. And it's a yellow card for Eggert Jonsson. Well, Hearts took an age to clear it. And Jonsson with a trip on Davidson. Saints captain Dave Mackay makes no mistake from the penalty spot. Hearts didn't convert theirs. But the St Johnson number two simply sends Marion Keller the wrong way. That's unstoppable from there. St Johnson, 2 0. Here's a good Johnson. Well, some Hearts fans have already left. We've seen enough. Ryan Stevenson plays it in, comes back onto Rudy Scatchel. It's blocked. Elliot in there too. Davidson wanted a free kick. That's on to Medi too. Bends it and in. Hearts are back in the match with four minutes to play from Medi Tool. Well, St Johnson feel that Davidson was fouled on the edge of the box here. Edgar Johnson, the man who seemed to trip him, but that's a lovely finish from Medi Tool. Laser light just guided it inside the post. Paolo Sergio looking on. It's a real grandstand finish now from Hearts. St Johnson controlled so much this game. Elliot! And it's Inkelman sending it over the top. David Abur wins the header. Stephen Elliott, that was good play, and Inkelman, terrific. Gary Locke says, go long. The dying seconds. Kello sends it long. It's another chance here for Hearts. Elliott back onto Ryan McGowan. Ryan McGowan lifts it over the top. Eddie Tool scoring for the first time for Hearts. McGowan looking to do exactly the same. This would have drawn Hart's level, and he couldn't put it on target. 
Steve, um, well done. You'd be forgiven for thinking this SPL lacks a piece of cake. <laughs> if you'd have seen me at the end, you knew it wasn't a piece of cake. We were hanging on, and obviously, uh, Hearts, I think, at the end had five strikers on, so you know we've had to, to weather the storm, and obviously, big pe- key moment, saving that penalty at 1-0. Um, and then we go down and, and get the second. So, you know, a, a fantastic penalty save, but it's, it's no su- surprise. Big Peter, I watch him in training, and you know, he's fantastic. What are you pleased most most with this afternoon? Because there was effort, there was skill, there was everything. Well, I just thought it was, a, it was a good game. I thought first half we were pretty comfortable. Um, probably should have um, should have maybe got another goal. Um, second half, we knew that Hearts probably would get a bit of a volley and they come out, um, you know, fans demand and they go forward. So uh, they made some changes and, you know, we always going to knew that we were probably going to have to play on the counter and I thought um, we did that well. You've been in place now for a few weeks. You've uh, had time to get to know these players, get yeah. to know the squad. Yeah. You must be pleased with what you've got and, and the reaction you've got from them. Nah, listen, I knew, I knew what they're all about. I spoke to Derek and... You know, he said they're an honest bunch. They'll give you everything, and and when you get that as a manager, <clears throat> you know you'll you'll go to war with them. And you know, I wouldn't mind these boys in the trenches. They're uh, they're an honest bunch, and they're a pleasure to go in and train with um, every day. It's a, you know, I've never once me or Tommy never once had to go into a training session and say, right lads, this ain't this ain't right. So from that from that um, you know aspect, um, it's been great. I think this leaves you a point of third. Um, <laughs> Where now are the ambitions? What are the ambitions for the season ahead? <laughs> ah, listen, we ain't got to get ahead of ourselves. Um, so we got, we got three tough games at home uh, in seven days. So um, we know Motherwell next up. That's our focus now. I know Stuart McCall, great lad. Um, he's done a great job at Motherwell and they're flying. So it's going to have to be um, another uh, you know, superhuman effort, really. So far, so good, though. So far, so good.